He gave me good advice, though. Did you forget she was supposed to come? You simpleton. <laughs> Big B. Snow. Come with me. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry. To... Everyone's always in a damn hurry. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. It would have been awesome if she would have got shot through the head by somebody stepping to the elevator. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Things are looking pretty epic. Security. What's the animal? Oh. No. You knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her though. A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean, I am a working... Oh. <laughs> the woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just... Give me a second. It's just... It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, did you see anyone else? No, no one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but no, I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Holy shit. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. something like that either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it she was placed here with some care what do you mean you can see that someone didn't just toss her here she was deliberately placed for us to find yep what kind of monster would do this some arrogant arrogant person what is I'm, 
I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. Um, what... What do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Damn, guys. The freaking security is sleeping. Seems all a little too convenient. I wonder if they kept off the grass. <laughs> Holy shit, so we are now to investigate the surrounding area of this decapitated young woman's murder. Oh. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour maybe. Looks like I can't keep Nobody up the there. grass. Oh no. Still not stepping on the grass. Alright. Let's go inside and see if there's any uh footage. Where are you going? Are we done? I've seen enough. But Okay. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? found blood on the fence back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So, someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> Heard no. that? I don't even know what you're I talking about. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Sounds like a plan. Damn. Guess I always wonder what that, what, 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 um, being in bed with that girl would feel like. <laughs> what's going on, Three Stooges? What are you, blind? 
What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm, that didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. <laughs> yes, I see. I, I... Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, right. is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. Such an asshole. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. <laughs> what are you fucking doing? Getting a massage? Where is the of bottle of wine this? you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. What an asshole. Do your job, Sheriff, or we'll find someone who can. Whatever, not worth it. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Wine to a massage? Hmm. Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Hello, Miss Snow. <laughs> Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> this is so weird, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. Yeah. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Mirror, mirror on the you wall. really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. For sure, bruh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first part. Hi. We're done for Stay now. Right, this has been another one-winged angel here, and Hi. Yes, I'm just calling to let you know that I'll wait until this is over. Crane's schedule seems to have filled up for the rest of the day, and he's coming in early for his appointment. No, oh, that's how she's done. All right, guys, this has been another one-winged angel here. God. <laughs> yes. It should be squared away. Yep. No, I can wait. 
Alright. This has been Nova One Winged Angel here, and I'm off for now. I question it only due to the amount. Uh, Alright, no, seriously though, I'm off for now.